the next morning, the dawn light revealed just how little we'd achieved. So, before the morning mist had cleared, everyone was hard at work. Well, when I say everyone... Are you going to do any work today? I have explained this to you until I'm blue in the face. Officers won't work. Guys? May? Can you hear something? Need a food. Guys, I've had a thought. It turns out officers will work. After they released me. Right, work. Remains available. I immediately decided we needed more labour-saving machinery. So I rented a digger for Hammond, and I went for something that would humiliate May. James has totally wasted his time bringing that crane here. Clarkson! Oh, no! What was that? It fell over, James! Do you see what where the... Hold on a minute. What? Do you see where the end of your jib landed? I'd only walk back to see where the pile was. If I'd still been standing there, it'd take my head off, you madman. It'd almost over. kill me. What do you mean it fell over? It doesn't, they don't fall over crane lorries. They don't fall over well, on the motorway. Well, it has done, hasn't what it? What do you mean it doesn't You've fall over? You've knocked it over. Your crane is too small, so I've got a bigger one to reach further into right. the river. My crane is too small. Yes. That's punishable by death, is it? After James had calmed down a bit, we decided to solve the problem by using the combined power of Richard's digger and the A May van. In three, two, one, lift away! With stronger cables, we soon had my crane the right way up. Excellent. And back to work. I just use this as an enormous hammer, so... Oh. It's all just delicacy, this. Oi! That little insect that he's dragged all the way here is simply getting in our way. Oh, well done, Hammond. Hang on. That's the ticket. Hammond! Come on, James, let's come. Spiky things. Even though we were now working as a team and the bridge was starting to take shape, we were still way behind James's schedule. This side, the blue pegs, represents how far we should have got by now. The red pegs show how far we actually have got. Obviously, uh, not far enough. It's worse than I thought. So, the three of us worked on into the night. Is this long? It's long. This is long. So that's to go to Hammond. We'll stop there. Stop. No, it's a bit further. I've got it. No, I've got it. Sure. Yeah. But even though we went to bed exhausted, <sighs> sleep for Jeremy and I was impossible. Go! 
Clarkson! Funny! You're funny men! We were even funny at getting him back in. No, I think it's the red one. Is it the red one? I don't know. Uh, right, so hang on, I've got one with like a circle. This one looks this, like an onion. This one? That, that bottom one swivels. No, the bottom. Oh, it's, it's got oh, a bit of a wave on now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> James, you've fallen out of your tent. Oh, you've fallen in. He's fallen in. Help! That's an alarm clock, isn't it? Oh, sorry, James. The, the bottom of this river's made out of turds. I yes. know. Yeah. Try not to drink more than a pint. As I was carried away by the current, I noticed that the end of the bridge was now beyond the reach of our cranes. So, when I returned, we built a homemade pile driver, mounted it to a homemade barge, and kept right on going. Overboard. Ah. How the hell are we this ever going to? This is hopeless. This is worse. To... Abandoned bridge. No, I'm not. I'm getting back. No.